Technology used to be maybe it's a nice to have, but now it becomes the basic of the operations. Everybody is innovating, and you will be left behind if you don't do the same. Uh, definitely, it's a great honor for us. Um, uh, this is a project that uh, we have been implementing for the past uh, two years uh, together with our uh, partner, our Seafield Aviation Department. And um, this project, uh, it is our uh, a milestone to bring our F operations into another level. Uh, in this project, we have installed over 100 uh, high definition cameras, which allow us to have a digital visualization of every corner of the airfield of the Avon area. Uh, even under adverse weather, we can still see very clearly. It also links up with our databases um, so that we can have flight information augmented onto the screen to let our operator to have a full control of all the aircraft movements and information gathering in one single platform. So it really enhances our airport operational safety and efficiency. Yes, definitely, I have to thank our Seafield Avian Department because without their support, uh, we cannot have this successful project. Uh, we share our infrastructure so that we can install camera in all our locations around the airport. We also share data so that we can have a full journey management of all the aircraft movement uh, in the airport. So I would really have to thank them for this collaboration and the partnership that we have. Um, in Hong Kong Airport, we always value technology and innovation. Uh, this is like our culture uh, because we actually we are very we are not a big airport, but in terms of throughput, uh, we need to drive our efficiency to the maximum. Uh, so with the technology and innovation, we cannot continue to outgrow ourselves. So uh, this award is a big recognition to our effort. And uh, we do believe that um, even for aerodrome operations, which is highly regulated, lots of standards and rules, but still you can use technology innovations to impose change to make your operation better every day. Um, okay, the requirement of air operations, the demand will only increase in terms of safety and efficiency. And also manpower will continue to become a major challenge to operations. So with the technology, you cannot outdo yourself. And technology used to be maybe it's a nice to have, but now it becomes the basic of the operations. Everybody is innovating, and you will be left behind if you don't do the same. Uh, but in terms of how to adopt technology in air operations, I think that's the key too. Because without the operational input or the expertise to guide the adoption of the technology, in the end, it will just maybe some sci-fi operations it cannot bring to the ground. So how to integrate, implement a concept into something concrete is an art and it is the experience that we have and I really value the experience. Um, I think in the beginning you have to have a very clear objective and project scope and then trial and error. When you implement lots of challenges, but just don't give up. I mean, you fail some, you win some. I mean, this is the innovation bit of the process, especially when you're trying to lead the world when you cannot find some other benchmark or experience from the others and then you have to explore the frontier yourself, that's what you have to go through. But I guarantee you, once you're successful with it, the benefit you can achieve is just amazing. Yeah. Yeah.